In this tutorial, you will learn Google Email Raw Basics for Beginners. I'll first show you how to open up a Google Email account. Then I'll take you through some of the settings and options and show you how to send and receive email using Google Email. First thing you do is open up an internet browser. Then go to mail dot google dot com and hit enter. Signing up for an account is absolutely free. Click here. Here it'll show you just different things about the Google email account. Different features, different options. And it'll give you the link in case you ever want to go to it on any computer with the internet connection. So you can see you could store a lot of emails with a lot of attachments with the Google account. On this site panel right here, you'll see different things like compose mail to create a new email message, your inbox, where all emails that you receive will be stored in, start email is when you have an email that you choose an option to start, which it, it'll make it stick out from the rest. Chats are when you are emailing an individual and you're just hitting the reply button and so as that individual you're going back and forth it'll show that full chat so instead of having 20 emails 20 different emails that have one email and it'll almost be like a like instant messenger sent mail self-explanatory drafts all mail you have spam anything here that's spam like junk email will be sent here anything that you throw away will be here trash. You click delete forever to empty your your email account um, trash. And once you click here it's unrecoverable. So make sure you don't want anything within this folder if you ever click here. Contacts. Friends, family, business associates. You could all save it here. chat it's actually google talk this is a kind of neat it's a built-in instant messenger which you could be messaging somebody or a google keep up they just have to have a gmail account labels labels is similar to having a filing cabinet with different folders and a label for each folder and filing different paperwork for those different folders. But in this case, it will be different emails and you'll be filing different emails under a different label. So one label could be for family, another label could be for bills. There's endless amount of options. Here under the settings tab, there are many options which you could choose from. Filters is kind of neat. You can have it set to automatically do different things to, to various emails that come in. I'll just something here. In the subject line, say for instance, 
I get a lot of spam email about buying watches. So anything with a subject line dealing with watches. I could automatically delete it. Apply to a certain label. Star it, mark as red, skip the box, never sent to spam. This option is something you would set if a family member or, or friend sends you an email, you want to make sure to never send their email to spam. And you click create filter. And I'll just cancel this. This will forward your Gmail to another email account. More options. Themes. You can have different background settings. Choose steel. Now we'll go back. Things are changed. I'll choose another theme. Shiny. Change it up a bit. Here is the initial email that you receive from Gmail. Just gives you different tips and tricks. You ever want to create an email, send it to somebody, click compose mail, type in their email address, whatever it is. Carbon copy or blind carbon copy. Carbon copy sends a copy of this message to any other email account. Blind carbon copy sends this email message to any email accounts and it does not include any of these two above fields. So the blind people do not know who else received this email. This is really good if you're going to send an email to a lot of people, say like 100 people or even even 10 people and, and none of them want their email account to get out there so they won't receive any spam. Type in the subject and the body. Click send or you could save now. It'll be saved to a draft and you could always um, continue on that email account later. To attach a file like here, if you want to attach a picture or any other file, browse, it'll search your computer. Go through. Then it'll attach it. You could attach more if you want. Up here, sort of like Microsoft Word, if you ever used it. Different things you could do. Insert happy faces.
put a hyperlink link to any word or anything to a certain web page or link it to an email account so when they click on a link it'll automatically show your email address or whatever email address you want them to send it to this will check your spelling I'll just discard this. 